What's up everyone, it's me Barky and I'm here with another mod showcase from Remold 1.3. So I've spent the last two videos which are Lights Out and the other one is um, the Yeo's 3D mod. Sort of showcasing mods that although I find them quite interesting and pretty cool in their own right, they're not exactly mods that I would use nor exactly my favorites. This one however is a different one this is actually one of the better mods that i've used in rimworld it is one of my favorites and it's made by a person called owl chemist it's owl plus chemist which i think is a really cool name this is a um this is a mod about growing zones so this is the smart farming mod so let me go ahead and throw down a growing zone over here and immediately you can see the difference to normal growing zones we have three new tabs over here so we have the so tab which you can just toggle between on off smart and force and then here's the priority so we start at normal and it goes to preferred important critical and low and then we have the no petty jobs i'll get into this one in a moment but first let's talk about the uh, first two so this is about sowing the zones that they're going to be using so if they're going to be farming them or not now typically if you put down a growing zone Pawns will just go ahead and farm it regardless. Uh, they'll just go for it and sort of put down whatever crops they can. Doesn't matter if they'll make it through to the winter or not. And this follows that. So if you have so on, they will just go ahead and do it as long as the plants can grow in this time, which is summer right now in a pretty decent area. But if I go ahead and toggle it through, so we have smart, we have force, and we have off. So you can toggle it off if you don't want them sowing the zone. You can go ahead to smart, which we'll get into in a moment. You can go ahead into force. So they will just go ahead and do it regardless. Doesn't matter if they can or not. And the most important one, however, is smart. So this one sows plants as long as it is predicted growth will reach the minimum harvest threshold before it is expected to die from the cold. Now, that's quite important. Not for plants like potatoes or rice, which are the most common ones, but for things like devil strand. So, for example, if I want to grow devil strand, it tells me over here plants will likely die before harvest so it means that it won't make it to or through the winter basically let's go ahead and switch this back to potato quickly and take a look at the other details that it tells you over here so it says the earliest harvest day is the 9th of jugist 5500 obviously this is quite a new colony so that's about a week away from now and then it tells you the growing period which is Pretty cool, but the biggest thing though is it tells you the potential nutrition is 111, so 66 days worth. So a tile of 13 by 13. Although people get really tricked when I say 13 by 13. 13 tiles by 13 tiles, whatever, will give us 111 nutrition, which is about 66 days worth when we uh, make it into food, which is pretty cool. Let me go ahead and toss on a couple of other zones. So you can compare exactly how much we'll get from rice and the uh, on corn. Tell you exactly how much you'll get, which is really, really awesome. Plants will likely die before harvest. Sucks. But uh, anyways, so let me go ahead and put down uh, devil strand, cotton plant, and I'll put down some smoke leaf. Sure, put down some smoke leaf. Now, generally, with the way Rimmeld usually works is that pawns will just come in, you know, whatever. They'll come in a uh, plant, whatever seeds they can, doesn't matter where. Um, but this mod allows you to change it up. So then we have the priority tab next to it. So say, for example, I want something to grow first, because obviously it'll take quite a while to do six zones of 13 by 13. You can go ahead and prioritize them, which you can see by this little outline around the edge. And they will go ahead and do that one first. They won't do the devil strand at the moment, but uh, set that one to preferred. Preferred. Let's say critical. Important. And then low. Let me go ahead and restart. I've got Pendant, Latinko, and Ant over here. And they should now all go in order of doing the cotton first, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, they will not do the corn nor the devil strand, even though I have them both on critical, just because they will die before the harvest. You can force it. So, for example, if you wanted to, uh, if you want them to do it, they'll switch from the cotton to go sow the devil strand, which is really cool. I'm not going to waste too much time doing that. I just like wasting time. There is a third option, though, and it's no petty jobs. Now, this is a pretty interesting uh, part of the mod. In that it allows you to configure your zones to basically not be refilled 
if they have a certain amount of empty tiles in them. So this is pretty useful if, for example, you have grazing cattle, which is the example that the uh, that the mod gives. Another useful thing is if you have a whole bunch of blighted areas, you can switch this on after they clear them out. They won't waste too much time on it. So if you go ahead and take a look at the mod settings over here, you can go ahead and change it to be exactly what you want. So for example, automatically designate blighted crops for disposal. Automatically try to harvest dying crops, also very useful. The petty jobs margin, that's the amount of missing tiles that you can have. The use average zone fertility instead of weakness, which is for what it tells you based on the nutrition, which is quite nice. Minimum temperature allowance, you can change this all. Processed food factors. So when grow zones give an estimated potential nutrition yield, it multiplies the raw food nutrition by this value. For example, a simple meal multiplies the value by 1.8. Which is useless. I mean, it's useful. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, because obviously, the potential nutrition. People are not going to be eating the raw vegetables. Generally, I mean, we like to eat our human flesh here. Okay, and if we're mixing with vegetables, at least we're going to process the vegetables a little bit. So having the syrup nutrition isn't exactly useful for most colonies. But yeah, always make your meals into. Uh, I mean, always make your vegetables into actual meals. But that is the mod. I don't want to spend too much time on it. It is awesome though. I don't want to say this is a complete and utter game changer, but it is a massive game changer in the sense that it, once you start using it, it's very difficult to stop using it. It is great. It's very light in performance. I haven't seen any issues and I've had two or three playthroughs with this now. Uh, just in my own time, which is cool. The mod's only been out for about a month, I think. And as I said, once you start using it, it's very difficult to stop. So please go take a look. Uh, it is genuinely awesome. I hope that more people do. Um, yeah, and also I just want to say, if you want to be in my next video, do let me know. I want to make a Zombieland Revisited video, uh, just in time for Halloween, which is in a day or two, which will be pretty good. So I think that will be exciting. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And aside from that, any mod suggestions, please put them in the comments below. If you made your own mod, let me know. I'd love to take a look at it. Um, I do scour the remote Discord for mod updates and whatnot every now and then, so it's pretty cool. Aside from that, Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm not going to say like. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. You do you. Thank you again. Have a fantastic day. I will see you all next time. Hey, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's really, really awesome of you. I've got a Discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else. And I've also opened up a Patreon page to help fund my videos. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and take a look at the description. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.